So this year was a pretty big year for me. Um, I finally got to realize a dream of mine and that was to buy my own farm. And with the help of my good friend Ian, me and my wife were able to do exactly that. We were able to buy a small farm with a few acres to it and uh, gave us enough room to actually be able to hunt our own property. So I finally got a chance today uh, to do something I've been wanting to do for a while and that's uh, set up a couple of reveals on my own farm. Uh, we've seen some deer out here. I saw a couple of decent bucks the other day so hopefully we can get some uh, cameras and some mineral out and uh, see what we got coming through. But joining me today we have Maddie and Jackson. So they're going to learn about setting up trail cameras and uh, kind of that pre-hunt preparation getting ready for season. Maddie thinks she's going to get her first deer out of here too. We came back here, I chose this corner because from an aerial view when Ian flew the drone uh, early this spring, there were just an immense amount of deer trails coming through here. And usually back in this corner is where we see uh, more deer more often than not. Uh, right over on the neighbor's property we've got corn, um, so I think that's a lot of what they're attracted to over here. So. Hopefully we can find something out here. Um, the primary goal of this farm is really to kind of set it up for the kids and the wife, make it an easy place for them to get to, to hunt, and uh, you know, make a lot of memories on the homestead. So this farm just happened to be in, you know, about the perfect deer hunting neighborhood. A lot of big timber around, some ag fields, and one of the things I was most excited about was uh, putting in a food plot on my very own land. So for me, that was step number one. So I picked a spot in the corner of it that gave some seclusion to where I could put a stand or a blind and uh, where I'd seen quite a bit of deer traffic moving through and kind of cutting in and out from neighboring properties. I got a hold of a good friend of mine and uh, he was cool enough to come over with his tractor and disc it up for me. and. Uh, Right after that, I got the planting. So through the summer, just watching what deer came in, both standing on my deck and uh, watching my reveals, it was awesome to kind of get an idea and I got a game plan together on where exactly I needed to be and uh, set up the blind to hunt. So my first sit of the year, I actually got to sit with Ian's wife, Lakota, and uh, the spot I picked for the blind did not disappoint. Um, at one point, I'm pretty sure I could have reached out and touched the deer we saw. And uh, so it made it a little bit difficult to move around, but it was still awesome to kind of see what kind of action was uh, going on on the farm and kind of sat and waited for one of my target bucks to show up and right at last light number one showed up he was across the property and he wasn't moving in a big hurry so didn't have any shot opportunities on him but just to be able to see him was a dream come true for sure So after all that, we rolled into early muzzleloader season, which is Danica's particular favorite um, because it's still a little warmer in the year. So I got her a tag and I decided, you know, what the heck? Uh, I grabbed a tag too. And we went out and had our first sit on our property together. So it's opening day at Iowa's early muzzleloader season, which is Danica's particular season. She likes hunting a little warmer weather, so 
We're out here on the farm again, and uh, she's had her eye on a couple of deer out here, so we'll see if we can't get it done. It's a pretty windy day out, so hopefully we'll see something come through. But the wind's right, weather's right, somebody's excited. That's always a good thing. So, fingers crossed we'll be able to get the job done here tonight or maybe tomorrow. We'll see what happens. There's been a couple of bucks that she's seen out here. And uh, if one of our big boys comes through, she's going to lay the hammer down. Yep. Just, just yep. I'm sure that'll change once we shoot something. So it came down to October 17th. Um, Danica was pretty excited to get in the blind. I unfortunately had to work a little later in the day. So I was on my way home. I told Danica, I said, hey, go ahead and get out to the blind, get set up, ready to go. And I was gonna meet her out there. Uh, as soon as I got home, I got changed and got a text from Danica and looked out one of the windows. And sure enough, there are already deer in the food plot. So I kind of had to go around the property. I actually wound up belly crawling probably 70, 80 yards and uh, crawled into the blind with her. And as soon as I got in, it was just nonstop deer coming in and out. So this buck steps out and he got Danica all fired up. So I got to sit there, I was kind of coaching her, you know, through getting lined up on him. And uh, she was lined, on, lined up on him at one point and he decided to start moving closer. So we held off, I said let him get in, you know, close as he can.
baby. Baby. Oh. Oh, my Lord. That was a beautiful shot. That was an insane shot. It wasn't my deer, but it was that deer. <laughs> he didn't even move. He just dropped. Yeah, he... So, day three coming out. Danica beat me to the blind today. I wound up having to work a little later than I planned on. And she came out. She got set up. She did awesome. I got out of here. You know, we had a couple of does that kind of came out. They left the field, they came back in, and uh, I don't know, I, don't, I haven't been out here for very long, about an hour, and uh, we've watched some deer movement coming through the woods, and out, come to, out came a couple of bucks, and Danica picked up on them, they're not bad bucks at all. There's still one standing in the field in front of us. We got one just right out the way. He doesn't know what happened. And, I mean, when you talk about the perfect shot, this deer didn't move. Danica set up on him, dropped the hammer, and I'll tell you, man, he just down. This is the day that we've been waiting for, for sure. There's also first blood on the family farm. I mean, that's this right here. She did awesome. Right after she shot her deer, we were celebrating. It was pretty exciting, you know, she got to shoot the first deer on our property. So that was really awesome for her. Um, first phone call I made, as always, it's straight to Ian. And uh, I was actually getting ready, you know, starting to pack up and Ian's like, hey man, you still got a half hour of light left. And uh, so I kind of agreed with him. We decided we were just gonna sit and wait. So I loaded up the muzzle loader again and didn't expect to see a whole lot come out after that. But um, came down to the last probably 20 minutes of light. And uh, one of the bucks that I'd filmed actually came out across the pasture and uh, started walking towards us. So. I got excited, got the gun up, and gave Danica the camera. doesn't get back up and run out there. He tripped and fucking dozed. Dozed. Oh, I saw him right. I saw a mule kick. Oh my lord. Oh man. Oh my god. And then there's oh. one at your foot too. Oh, yep, here we go. Down from here. No, you be careful. I think the adrenaline wore off and now I'm cold. <laughs> that cold front, man. Man, there was dozens of still deer in the food plot just watching us. Yeah. Do not care here. Just get them, get them out. Ian. Danica, why is he doing all the work? Because I got a husband. Because I love her. Yeah. <laughs> he, he must have, like, when he went down, he must have just 
I swear he was up here where it was clean and dry. Well, yeah. All right, I shot him up here. He ran towards us and then cut down. But you so should, should be there should be blood. Somewhere right in here. There looks like there's a trail or something right here, Jake, coming down. That might be. Right here. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm blind. I missed that one. It's all right there. Yep. Right here. Oh, hey. Right now? Yeah. yeah <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh, Ooh, buddy. Nice, dude. Holy smokes, Jake. That deer is a slammer. Slammer. What the heck, dude? That's a giant. I want to know how a hunting night can get any better than that. I get to go out. <laughs> met Danica. She is already in the blind setup. And me being there an hour smokes a deer. I mean, just a phenomenal drop on a deer. I mean, picture perfect. And not 10 minutes later, out comes deer I've been watching. And uh, <laughs> I get to put the hammer down on him. I mean, you, you just couldn't ride it any better than that. I've never doubled up with anybody. So to be able to do that with Danica on our in our pasture, you know, on our farm, that's beyond awesome. There's there's no words to really explain it. That's insane. Just got me excited to see what memories, what other memories are gonna be made on that property. I mean, between maybe a bigger food plot or a bigger pond, being able to take the kids out and experience deer hunting with them. Um, even a little trapping probably with my son Jackson, he's pretty excited to start trying that. Um, it's a pretty awesome feeling to have a piece of property that I'm gonna be able to make memories on for the rest of my life and then, you know, most of the kids' life.